Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420, and today we're going to have another one of these conversation things. <laughs> and today what we're going to talk about is the way people buy and consume music. So um, it's, it, it's my opinion, as the title says, that the album is dead. The idea of an album is no longer really relevant i mean it is in the sense that people still put them out and people are still selling them but they're not relevant in the way that they used to be uh when i was growing up you had your you know what's his name um i forget i'm i had like a list and now it's gone um <laughs> you had jay-z selling millions of albums you had eminem selling millions of albums you had um uh, 50 Cent selling millions of albums. You had, uh, heck, I think Cisco might have even sold like millions of albums. The Thong Song dude. Like, it was just a point in time where if you had a good hit record, you were going to sell a million albums out the gate. Like, it was almost guaranteed if you had any sort of real following. Um, and, and I think it, it was for a couple of different reasons, but um, it, without going into the whole history of it. Um, I personally think that like the reason I think that the album is dead is just consumers don't consume music the way they used to. I don't I couldn't tell you personally when the last time I got excited for an album um, ever was like I don't and, and I like music. I love music, but I'm not gonna I don't have the time to sit there and hunt down like, <laughs> you know, when you're gonna put it out and then the album just doesn't have that same allure and appeal. Um, and at the same time, you have to think. And back in the day, they didn't have the option, like, you know, a consumer couldn't go on their phone and download one track off of your entire album. Um, they, they had to buy the entire CD, cassette, whatever it was, in order to, to, to get that one song, if it was just one song that they liked. Um, and, and today, you don't, you're not forced to do that. You can go on your phone, go to iTunes, and download any song you want, um, piecemeal, one at a time. So you don't have to... You're not forced to buy the entire album. So I think what happened once that became a thing is we just got accustomed to, we got accustomed to songs. And because of that, I think that uh, in the future, we're going to start seeing more and more artists who don't put out um, an album. Because think about it. Why would you put out an <laughs> when there used to be the okay so the reason you put out an album is to get the attention to get you know the shows to do the gigs to sell your merch to do all of this stuff is connected right all of it boils down to you put stuff out to get attention and then once you get attention then you can build off of that attention so tell me i guess and and I'll, i'm serious here i'm asking you guys this question is if you can tell me what a give me a real valid reason why putting an album together over six months to sell less than even if you're a top selling artist 150,000 albums your first week um, why do that when you can do the same amount of work and instead of one album in that you know three month period that you're pushing it and really trying to sell it Instead, you take that 17, you know, 15, 12, whatever many tracks, and you put one out every single week. Instead, what happens then is you're staying at the forefront of your, your audiences like mine because you're constantly putting out new music. You're also not, your album's not getting, you know, buried by the this week's releases because you're this week's release. As well as like the fact that if, if you're just consistently putting out, say you pick Friday, you know, you're like, you know what? Every Friday, I'm gonna put out a feel good song for you to pump in your car on your way to the club or whatever you wanna do. You know, you're gonna put out you know, a song for people to smoke to, whatever your thing is. But once a week, every week you say, this is what I do. And I promise you that you will get more attention in that you know that that 17 week time frame that you ever would have gotten from just releasing one album all at once and so with all that i really do believe that the future is going to be uh for artists is going to be in re releasing individual tracks um and, and the album is kind of obsolete like again why would you put in a bunch of work to potentially only sell you know a couple hundred thousand maybe if you're lucky you're gonna sell a half million um you know copies and that's if you're lucky and like 
when, when at the end of the day, your your goal is to get the attention. I mean, really, most people don't really buy music, right? What they're buying is your merch. They're buying tickets to your shows. They're buying, you know, all these other things that, that you put out and support, but they don't really, <laughs> most people don't really buy the music. Um, but I really do think that like the future, in the future, this is what we're gonna see a lot more of. Um, now, this is just my personal opinion. I consider myself slightly crazy, um, but I also think that you really just look at the history of the way things work, um, and, and you can see that it's kind of, it has no choice but to go that route. But what do you think? Um, I'd like to hear your guys' opinion. Um, do you think that that's really, do you think that I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Um, if you think I'm wrong, I'm, I'm more than open to ideas. I'm not, this is just something I thought about. <laughs> like, I'm not, I literally put this thought together in like four hours yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I should make a video about that. And I wonder what people think. Um, so I'm not like married to this idea. I'm just, you know, let's just throw some ideas out and then see if maybe we can help each other out a little bit here. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I plan to smoke, <laughs> but I kind of forgot the, uh, the the torch. But so give me a second. I'm going to have to go grab that and then I'll cut right back into it. So <laughs> the rig by Diamond Glass. Um, it came with this nail, which is nice. It's also, I'm not setting off my alarm because it's already clean. So no smoke or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb last time. I don't even know how that happened. Well, I do know how that happened. I didn't look up. Um, but yeah. All right, so I'm going to be smoking on some presidential kush. PK. And once again, this isn't paid like placement or anything. This is just me smoking my weed because I made a video. All right, guys. <coughs> Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Uh, this has been Recreational 420, and I'll be back again with you guys soon.